So it's a new day. You want to connect. You want to interact with her. You want to have a conversation and be pleasant. You want to experience that connection in your relationship that used to be there. But she's not in a good mood and no matter what you say, it just seems to make it worse. So now you feel alone. You feel disconnected. You feel confused. You feel frustrated. You really don't know how to fix this. So now what? Now what do you do? Well, welcome back to the Happy Man Coaching Channel. I'm your Happy Man Coach, Charlie McKeever. And today in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to overcome feeling powerless in your relationship. Now, recently I received a comment, an email from a viewer of this channel, and, and it was a female who asked, why is my husband depressed? Now, I don't know their particular story, their particular situation, but here's what I can tell you about depression in general, feeling powerless in general. When we feel like we don't have any hope, when we feel like someone else is in control, when we feel powerless, that's generally when sadness starts to creep in. That's when depression starts to creep in because we don't feel like we're in control of our own life. We feel like somebody else is in control of our life and that does not feel good. It makes us feel hopeless, it makes us feel powerless, and we just don't, a lot of times, know what to do about it. And the best example I can give you of this to kind of wrap your mind around it is, have you ever been wrestling with a, a father, an uncle, a brother, uh, a friend, where at some point you got pinned to the ground and they threatened to not let you up, right? That, that they were in control, that you weren't gonna get up unless they said, and at first, you know, there was laughing and playing and fun and fighting and all of this stuff. And then as they pushed your shoulders to the ground and didn't let you get up, what happened? You started to get upset. The joy, the laughter, the fun went away. You actually started to get to the point where you were like, hey, this isn't any fun anymore. I feel, I don't feel good. I don't like this. Maybe you kind of lost hope that uh, you were going to be able to get up, that you were going to be in control of yourself, that you're going to have some sort of autonomy, right? Some, some sort of say. And in your mind, in your mind, it got magnified, like it got loud. Your pain was so incredibly loud that what happened? You probably started crying. You probably just got really mad and the fun was over, right? And then at that point, generally what happened is uh, that, that father, that, that uncle, that brother, that friend, they let you up because this part sucked for them too. They were like, oh, this isn't any fun. Um, and what we didn't realize, what, what didn't occur to us was that that person was gonna have to go pee. <laughs> they were gonna get bored. They weren't really gonna hold us down forever, but we thought they were. We thought they were gonna hold us down that we weren't gonna be in control. Now, let's go back to that morning conversation. Morning conversation where she's in kind of a funk. She's not in a good mood. She's been this way for a while. She seems to maybe all be stuck there, kind of looping, cycling through, and you don't really know what to do about it because you want something different. You want a, a different relationship. You want to actually be able to talk and, and laugh and have fun together and dream about the day and plan and scheme and, and collaborate and be on the same page, but it just doesn't seem like she's having it, right? So, so what do you do? Well, this is, Back to, the, back to the email, this is the point where we generally fall into depression. We fall into sadness because we feel like we're powerless. But I gotta tell you, there is a way out. Now, there's a way out of this. What we have to do is just recognize that she's going through something and back up, right? Back up, take a step back. Say, so, you know what? I see that she's got something going on. Um, unless I know that there's something that I've done that I need to address. Uh, I'm not going to make it about me because a lot of times that's what we do is we make it about ourselves, right? We, we are hurt, frustrated. We may feel abandoned. Our monkey mind may go into meaning making mode and start assigning meaning to things. 
and now we get up in our head and now we're hurt by our thoughts and we project that blame her for that and now we start saying things like you know you you never and you always and we start we start getting upset with her right we start saying that she uh, like a lot of times when i'm talking with a man on a call there's all of this she talk right like she's not or she should or if she would only which is a clear indication of our uh uh, thoughts of powerlessness that somebody else is in control that somebody else needs to be different for us to be okay but if we will just not take it personally and this is the hard part right this is the part that I work with men about not take it personally not make her thing our thing then what happens is we can say oh well she seems to be in a mood in a state going through something that sucks I know that sucks because I know what it, it's like to be in that place myself and that doesn't feel great and that sucks and so I'm gonna have empathy for her right I'm gonna hold space for her I'm gonna allow her to be that way trusting that she will work it through or that something outside of her or inside of her will change that that will produce a different result but us getting upset us getting twisted getting depressed feeling powerless feeling confused frustrated resentful angry isn't going to improve the situation right it's not going to give us that sense of power that we're looking for and it's not going to um it's actually not you know if we if we're trying to mind will this other person to be different so that we'll be okay then it's going to be a long time right we gotta don't hold your breath so uh, that's not how these things that's not how these things work so uh how do we how do we fix that what do we do right how do we come up out of that for ourselves well what we do is we stop making her thing our thing and we take a step back and we recognize that that we need to be in we need to own ourself right you need to own yourself i have to own myself and we do that by getting super clear about what's important to us who we enjoy being what we value what our boundaries are what's important to us what we'll agree to what we won't agree to uh, what we want to accomplish in life how who we want to be in the world how what we want to experience who we want to experience it with that clarity i'm telling you the word clarity brings power to our uh, decision making it gives us the ability to be super clear about what we want and where we're going who we are and how do we do that we do that through conversation we do it through connection and community with other men we can't do this alone if we be honest right if you could have done this by yourself you would have done it already if you're watching this video i know from personal experience i know from the men that i talk to i know from the demographics of the videos uh, that youtube tells me that the guys who watch these videos are somewhere between 40, 45, 60, 65 years of age. We're in a season of life where we know we've had decades to try to work this out and we haven't been able to do it by ourselves. So stop trying to do it by yourself. Recognize that you need other men in your life. I need other men in my life. We all need other men in our life. We've only been doing cell phones, indoor plumbing, um, electricity for you know, a hundred years or so. And before that, we really had more of a tribe. We had more of a society where we were connected. We were interconnected. We weren't dependent. We were interconnected. We supported each other. We learned from each other. We grew with each other. We grew because of each other, because of the time that we spent with each other. And so that's what I wanna invite you into today is spending time with other men. I've got a community of men that I want to introduce you to. I want to introduce you to these men. They are solid guys. They've been on this journey for a while. They are veterans of this work and they have the insights, the questions. They're not gonna tell you how to live. I'm not gonna tell you how to live. We're actually gonna listen to how you want to live. We're gonna ask questions to help clarify, give you the ability to hear yourself, maybe for the first time ever, and share our own insights with you our own experiences point to resources books videos things that will help you think 
about what's going on in your world so that you'll go into the library, the storage unit of your own mind and, and pull things out that you're like, oh, I forgot this was even in here, right? Yeah, that was a long time ago. And then you'll be able to, you'll have, be able to decide what you think about these things. You'll be able to decide who you want to be, how you want to live. You'll be able to get that clarity for yourself because when we go into that storage unit, that library of our mind, we pull up our thoughts about something. We, we actually have to reconcile it with the outside. We have to reconcile with life and that, that gives us the opportunity that gives us the opportunity to, to decide what we think about something. We, we have thoughts about our thoughts. I'm trying to adjust the, keep trying to adjust the, the lens there. Uh, we have thoughts about our thoughts. And that in itself produces the, a difference. Because look, change either happens inside of us or it happens outside of us. And usually the change that happens outside of us are things like divorce, job loss, death, there's some sort of natural disaster. Um, and those things are generally you know, beyond our control. But the things that are inside of us, those are the long lasting changes, right? Getting clear about what we think about something and knowing that we're not choiceless, that we're not powerless, that you can actually choose how to spend your day, where to focus your energy on. And then you can let someone be so that they can work out their own thing. You don't have to make their thing your thing okay so i want to invite you into that come join the community go to happymancoaching.com community go there apply to join the community let's onboard you let's get you plugged into the conversations we have monday night calls we have saturday morning calls we have discussions in between we talk about important stuff life-changing stuff and it'll transform your world. So happymancoaching.com slash community. Go there, apply. Let's get you plugged into the guys, all right? So you can stop feeling powerless, so you can stop feeling depressed, so you can stop feeling sad, so you can stop feeling dependent, so that you can give her some space and that the, the, you can, the two of you can get back to a place where you're on the same page and you're able to laugh and play and have fun with each other. All right, brother, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like this video if you got anything out of it. And I'll talk to you later.